Tilt at Podcast with your hosts Ian and Jen Avina. Brought to you by Skyview Studios and Chelsea Smile Clothing. Hey, what's going on, guys? How you doing? I'm Ian. And I'm Jen. Welcome back to the podcast. If you if this is your first time with us, welcome to the podcast. If it isn't, I'm glad you stuck with us and we entertain you, I guess. I don't know. So, uh, first off, what we're going to do is we're going to let you know about this uh, episode. It's going to be our Pet Peeves episode, What Grinds Our Fucking Gears. So much funness. Yes, it's going to be hilarious. Um... But what we're going to do is before we get into the uh, we hate everything, we're going to do some positivity and talk about Chelsea's Chelsea Chelsea Smile (laughs) Clothing Company. No, it's uh, Chelsea Smile Clothing Company. Um, It's my buddy Kaleo. um, You said it right. I did. Yay. Yes, I know. (laughs) Okay. So, wow. Um, so Kaleo, um, and Kate have, uh, developed this clothing line and it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, they have their spring clothing line. I think they're going to release it here pretty soon. Um, it'll be up on their website and through Facebook and stuff, but, um, Chelsea Smile isn't your typical run of the mill startup clothing line founded in 2017. They've taken over a decade of decade. They've taken a decade. Okay. They've taken over a decade of metal touring experience and adapted their clothing line to fit the times. They've searched for the best quality cotton and best denim to create their brand. You won't be disappointed. Uh, Styles change and family stays the same. Join the the Chelsea Smile family company at (laughs) ChelseaSmile.co. No, join the Chelsea Smile family at ChelseaSmile.co. That's C-H-E-L-S-E-A-S-M-I-L-E dot C-O. And if you go there, they uh, decided to keep us going with that promo code, which is cool. Um, if you go there to ChelseaSmile.co and put in the promo code TDP it's for the Till Death Podcast, just the acronym, you'll get 20% off your entire purchase, which is pretty awesome. I don't know if the spring line will be a part of that promo code. I, I was talking to Kaleo, and he was we were, we were talking about that, whether or not that's going to happen. But um, at least check it out and... Uh, it, it's all worth it, even if you pay that that full price. But that twenty percent off is uh, is pretty cool. Um, still got to get that flannel. Still yep. Got to get that flannel. Um, okay. So, pet peeves. Um, we have a lot of them, apparently. Uh, so do our friends. Three pages, and yeah, that's actually the kind of, kind of one of the cool parts about this podcast. This is our first um, uh, listener. Uh, Added okay. listener, like getting input so, from yeah, have, from our from our friends, from our from our friends and listeners, and uh, and uh, it's pretty funny realizing the, that we have a lot of similarities on what pisses yeah, us off. Yeah, like a lot of similarities in some things that I didn't even think of when we were trying to come up with ours. And uh, shout out to Zach West already because you have us <laughs> both dying for a second. Uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. So first off, my personals. Um, are a lot with traffic because I did a lot of driving forever. I was a pizza delivery driver. I was your typical stoner musician and, you know, decided to, uh, you know, pot. And so I drove around a lot. Um, and actually it was right when I was delivering for Pizza Hut. So we're perfect. <laughs> um, but yeah, so a lot of traffic based stuff and being in touring bands on the road and shit. You just wasn't basil on your pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't shrooms either. Damn. Um, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> oh, damn. yeah, the two of us together at one time it was great. Um, hopefully, you followed along with that whole ridiculous sentence. Um, anyways, mine are no blinker, slow in the fast lane, on the phone, texting or calling while you're while you're driving. And then when someone flips you off, when they are the one that's in the wrong. So if we break down those couple, uh, my my reasoning for the no blinker thing, and you don't use a I'm blinker. I'm guilty of that. Hey, I will only not use a blinker if it's unnecessary because there's no one behind me. Okay, well I I understand that if you're by or yourself, I'm in there's the no condo complex. <laughs> yeah, if you're by yourself and there's no one around, it, it's understandable. But the thing with me is, it's a communication thing. This one's a 
blinker stickler. <laughs> I am because it's a communication thing. It, like because you're driving around a car that weighs a lot, it can be dangerous, and you're driving next to someone who could be on the phone, who could be not paying. You know what I mean? And so it's that flashing light. And one thing that I was listening to uh, Bill Burr on a podcast, and he was because he flies helicopters, mm -hmm. and so he was like, "It's ridiculous going and flying a helicopter." And then driving on the fucking L.A. freeway because because he lives in L.A. So he when he's flying a helicopter, he has he a headset on talking to people, communicating who's flying at this height, this elevation and all that. So everyone knows what everyone's doing when you're on the freeway. Fuck no. everyone else. You have no clue what's going on. So it's like that little bit of communication with other drivers. It like it helps to go smooth. Uh, I don't know. Maybe True, personally. but half the time when they do use the blinker, it's when they're already halfway in the lane. So what was the whole point of it? Well, well that's what I'm saying. Using a blinker, like, properly. responsibly and properly. Like, I do it, like, the only time I do it real quick is if there's no one really close to me. But still, like, what if there's a cop fucking chilling and I'm, I already drive fast. So if I'm not using a blinker, True. then it's going to, uh, yeah. Sure. But if they're like, oh, he's driving 80, but he used a blinker. Uh, you know, he, oh, okay. Maybe he knows. I don't know. That's my logic. I'm probably Makes sense. Oh, thank you. Old. <laughs> um, <laughs> so another couple. Uh, oh, yeah. And on the phone, it's absolutely ridiculous to be like, I'm not saying that I don't have my phone on the magnetic, magnetic thing and it's not plugged in and I won't, you know, some music or something going on. But. I'm not sitting there. I use the talk to text thing. Yeah, like, I, I won't text when I'm driving, but I still yeah. do talk with people on speakerphone. Mm -hmm. On speakerphone, not with your But hand. I usually don't do speakerphone anymore because when I'm on the freeway, I can't hear anyway. So mm -hmm. I just forget But you it. don't put your hand, like one hand on the wheel, one hand on the phone. No, I'll That's... have my phone in the cup holder. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it kind of amplifies the sound too, yeah. so it makes it and a little And that's why I never hang up. You hang up because oh, yeah, I exactly. don't push the button. Exactly. It's like, okay, bye, babe. Love you. Bye. Okay, you hang up now. <laughs> All this like car noise and I'm like, what is she doing? What if I'm talking crap on you and then you can hear it? Why do you think I stay on the <laughs> phone for an extra like 10 seconds? I'm like, oh, I no, fumbled. I, I didn't. Hmm. Um, so, uh, yeah, and someone who flips you off when they're wrong, that just kind of, that just bugs me because it's it's that lack of accountability for doing something shitty. If I cut someone off, if I do something stupid, like whatever, I will admit it, but I usually don't. Well, normally yeah, they're I'm, flipping you off because you honk at them, and they don't know why you're oh, honking yeah. at them. Well, because they, they're stupid like, and the they don't instant, realize that. The instant response is, let me just flip you off. Yeah, exactly. And then my but response then that makes is to go mad. around you and get in front of you and slow down and flip you back off. So it's it's good. Road rage. I have no road rage at all. Um, <clears throat> speaking of that, uh, the grocery store, another place where I have road rage. <laughs> I love road rage. <laughs> I work at the groceries at a grocery store, so it's not it's not great. Um, it's just it's basically the same same as traffic without. I mean blinkers. I mean you can't really put a blinker on a shopping cart, but. Um, it's, but you can pull over. <laughs> yeah. I'm pull some people over. Like, beep, beep. Uh, go down the chip aisle, bitch. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I know it's just people that walk around uh, and just leave their cart in the middle of a walkway. Because they walk think they're the them. only person in the grocery yeah, store. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it's, it's just the same as people driving slow in the fast. It, it's, it's like there's other people in the world besides you, and you could give zero fucks about them. There's times when I wish that I would... Like when you okay, like you look back on a situation and you wish you would have said something or done something. Mm -hmm. When that happens, when there's a cart like in the middle and the person, and like you've even said like, "Oh, excuse me," like yeah. all nice, and they just look at you and don't even do anything. Yeah, I just want to shove my cart mm -hmm. so hard against their cart and just ram it off to the side of the yeah. aisle without oh, no, looking no, so like I'll an asshole. It. Like I'll, I'll move it out of the way and they'll see me do it and I'll just keep walking. If you want to be a jerk and not say something to me, I'm gonna. Do what I yeah, have be to like, do. Oh my gosh, you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, because you know? you're treating me like you're the only person in the world, so respect is is earned. You know what I mean? Even I think, in that little I tiny. I think when I'm old. Yeah. And I'm in. Oh, I'm little, yelling at everyone. Yeah, in like the little mm -hmm. hover around cart. If that's what they're called, hover rounds. Yeah. Oh, by then it'll be literally hovering. <laughs> like hover cart. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it's still gonna have the basket. It's just front. gonna have that little. So I'm gonna have my my like weird like weird iron furry looking like stick fur dog that you don't even know what kind of dog it is because it's just you know, really like, an like eye break for coffee like 
bumper sticker. Yeah, on the and then my little dog is going to be like <laughs> in the front of the basket, and then I'm just going to ram it. It's going to be one of those chihuahuas car. that like, <laughs> like, that, like with the teeth, like, a, gets really like the bad. wiry hair, yeah, yeah, just exactly. like, like, like like you want to touch it, fucked up. It's like, like a brillo pad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's going to be me. I'm yeah, just going to exactly. like. <laughs> Looking forward to that. Maybe oh, we'll do that this weekend. I'm excited. Wait, you mean getting a hover? Get being old? Let's get old people costumes. Hey, you wanted to steal. You wanted to steal the Target cart. Oh, there wait, was that's two right. There were two. Of them. That, tell me that wouldn't be fucking amazing, though. Okay. So one other thing that I have is with just like management in general, and like people that are put into higher places of power that have they. What I wrote down is having uh, ad- having the attitude that you're above people in character and not just the title or your or your pay. It's it's when someone gets power, and and I understand needing to tell someone what to do and and um, delegating tasks and 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 responsibility to people under you, and that's you know a part of being a manager. But um, being a fucking asshole, it, it's not. It, it's not necessary. All it's doing is causing a rift between you and your employees, and um, you know. And it's usually a good I- good idea to like you know show up you know for your shifts. That's usually you know, a pretty good idea. You know, like inventory shifts and you know stuff like that. Um, anyways, so uh, let's go to yours because. Uh, so I have very random good. ones because yes. I I do I know I have more pet peeves than this, but yeah. off the top of my head. Mm-hmm. So real quick before you get into yours to let everyone know, I know this is coming out uh, a day later and this is the second week in a row, but life's been kind of crazy and uh, alcohol. Yeah, we got real drunk on Saturday. That's all we're going to say. Like real drunk. There might be some pictures posted. Nope. From from the. uh, the (laughs) Um, But uh, hey, when you go out with good friends, here's some good live music drinks and you're just laughing for like four hours straight that's that's, that's what, what i was happens. saying i was talking because it was with james and candace and uh they are amazing people and i was texting uh him him earlier and it was it was you know i had just woken up and had coffee and had my little you know wake and bake so i was feeling all extra happy and lovey and whatever and i said Aww. uh what did i say so he sent all the pictures to me and i said uh uh, it just goes to show that a little alcohol and good company can make even a random night out to a small bar in Marietta watching a Journey cover band awesome and memorable. Uh, don't mind me. I'm baked as hell. Uh, <laughs> basically, I'm trying to say that I love y'all and thank you for your timing of sending these pictures. <laughs> the pictures are yeah. great and they definitely exemplify oh, a drunk God. night because they're all blurry selfies. <laughs> yeah. There's, and what I notice is that there's not one picture where me and James are even trying to be fucking serious. We're all, like, stupid. For the you know, most part, face. we're either, like, yeah. laughing hysterically mm-hmm. or, or making a funny weird face. face. Or, yeah, and, uh... It's a good But night. you and Candace tried. You guys we efforted, tried like... We like, tried yeah. to smile have a regular picture. Yeah. And then you look at, you know, We made the boys and, order us buttery nipples. It was a fun time. Yeah, <laughs> I... We went up to the bar, and we, we had got up there one time, and it was kind of funny, because I had ordered... Me and Jen's drinks, and then James is ordering uh, him and Candace's, but he didn't order them yet. And I ordered a tall uh, whiskey and Coke and uh, a Long Beach. And it was, you know, if anyone doesn't know what a Long Beach is, it's basically a Long Island, but with cranberry instead of Coke, right? Yes. Okay. So it, it looks pink, it looks a little fruity. And so it was me and James standing there. I, I had to look at the bartender and go, I, I, uh, This is for me and my wife. It's not the fruity drink in for him. And so it started this kind of like funny thing. And um, so uh, then James got um, him and Candace's drinks. And when we went back, like in, in that time, we had, you know, had those drinks. I think I knocked over one of those drinks already. I wasn't even drunk Luckily, yet. Luckily, it wasn't, it wasn't full. Yeah, just it wasn't nice. full. So yeah, it was just the second drink. Um, and then as I said, okay, whatever you guys want, we're going to, you know, we're going to get shots too. We'll get drinks, but we're going to get, a, you know, a couple shots too. So let us know what you want. Just text us while we're up there. So James gets a text message saying, buttery nipples. <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, you're ordering those, not me. And so he had to blank face, be a man and stand there to the girl bartender saying, yeah, um, two buttery nipples. <laughs> and so, and then he ordered two black tooths. 
which are black tooth grit, black tooth grins, which is a Pantera drink. Uh, it's basically a whisk, a shot of whiskey and Coke. It, it's, it's nothing special, but, um, it's cool to, you know, it's black tooth grin. And I like Pantera and you know, whatnot. but, um, it was a really, it was really loud while the music was going on at the bar. So I said, yeah. Uh, so James <laughs> said, can I get two black tooths? And the bartender said, two black dudes <laughs> so from the beginning she's yeah. like okay long beach buttery nipples black, black dudes. dudes like it was they were like okay these these guys are characters so uh then we go dancing you know whatever and we were fucking with you guys outside and stuff too and oh then, you, uh, you guys went dancing without us what no, all of us were oh. dancing your butt and then <laughs> and then while we were trying to find those black dudes yes um i don't Okay, uh, so you guys had gotten up and gone and getting gotten. Yeah, drinks we too. decided we'd like you guys went outside and we decided we'd order more shots mm-hmm. and then more drinks. Yeah. So of course we're like, oh, we're gonna get the. Um, actually, no, I hadn't ordered the shots yet. Yeah. So we just started ordering our drinks, mm-hmm. and then all we said to them was, "Oh yeah, we're supposed to tell you that we're with the buttery nipple guys." <laughs> Both the bartenders look at us. Oh, you're with them. Yeah, and do the motion like for of a, a beard. beard. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're with, with those them. guys. You're with them. Okay. So I'm. So apparently the buttery nipples made sense for you guys. I am happy with that. That's okay. With Bearded me. buttery nipples. We're gonna make a shot, <laughs> like a manly buttery nipple shot. Um. <laughs> Bearded. Okay, we got to come up with a good name. If anyone hears that and like can a, think okay, of a manly, a manly buttery nipple, but we have to have it like. Maybe not buttery nipple. Like, it should be like like hairy areola. Oh. This is a man. It's All a man I know shot. is... Hairyola. I don't do <laughs> those <we> shots. <laughs> I don't yes. do those sweet things. But Maybe that that's thing why you felt like shit the bomb. next day. It was so good, whatever it was the heck just, was in there. It was just great to, to be able to see James and Candace because they don't always get you know time away from kids and stuff. They'd be able to like, let loose and get faded and have her eat french fries and... Us trying to offer applesauce and water, just no, no. Love you, Candace. Candace, it was so much fun. Yeah, we don't, we haven't hung out with you too much. You know, James is always the the crazy one, but it's good to be able to hang out. And that was actually our first like married couple, married couple double date. It was, it was kind of, it was was our inaugural date. Golf clap. Golf clap. Okay, so. Now let's get back to More pet peeves. Pet peeves. <laughs> so I have kind of a weird pet peeve. It's a very specific one. Mm-hmm. So it was probably what, like a year ago with this? Yeah. So maybe a little um, we live in a condo complex and I would say majority of the people that live in this complex are older than us. Like fifties. Yeah. Well, or our same age just with kids. Yeah. It's, so it's family more like family. Or older, yeah. single people. Mm-hmm. And the lady that lives right across from us, I think it's just her. It's just like maybe a 60-some-year-old mm-hmm. lady, older lady. I think she's I've dead. never seen a man. I think maybe she killed him. I think she's dead. <clears throat> I, I haven't seen her. TV. We no. haven't seen her. Oh, I'm actually, her... I think I heard her talking on the phone. You did. So I think she's alive. But this one apparently doesn't believe in in fun yeah. Or doesn't like anything. Yeah, like she. Like, okay, so she put up a sign, like a little metal yard sign, that says um, something about, like, basically making sure to pick up your dog poop mm-hmm. because it is. Yeah, exactly how it's how it's worded. It's, it's worded so. It's fucked. like it is a hazard to our children, to our livelihood, to our. It's a disgrace to yeah, our neighborhood. Yeah. Which okay. Don't get me wrong. I don't like dog shit either. Yeah, I don't want to step in it. I don't want to smell it. I don't want to pick it up. But we pick up ours. And you can tell which one's Gonzo drops because they're large like him. But this lady seemed to think that since because we were the newer people that moved in, that it was from us. So she put the sign purposely on her, like the farthest side that faces us. And I overheard her talking to the neighbors about us because we're like the young rowdy couple that moved in. Yeah, that's with us. the big dog. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, okay, so she really did put that sign up because of us. Oh yeah, we pick up our dog's poop. It is the neighbors around us that don't pick up, and I really, really want to put Gonzo's poop mm-hmm. and the other dog's poop next to each other mm-hmm. on her doorstep and be yeah. like, 
do you Comparison understand? Yeah. Purposes. Like these are fucking dumps. They're the, <laughs> like those aren't. That's a Gonzo dump. Like, dude, literally, you could throw Gonzo shit in a toilet at like a like a <laughs> airplane fucking restroom, and it would clog the shit. Like. Yeah, it, it's not the little fluffy dog next to us that drops and he little micro And no appreciation that we have to fucking pick that shit up every day. It's, yeah, it's so I just get annoyed. So pee. so what's been happening is, so it's like a little sign that's probably like like maybe 10 inches by 5 inches, a little rectangle metal sign that has two little yeah. like little metal rods that hold it in the ground. Well, either it's other people or it's the gardeners, <laughs> but the sign has just like randomly just cause- been like pulled out of the ground and like upside down with stuff on it. We haven't done it. I'm being serious. We have not done it. No. So I'm thinking somebody like heard us and yeah. decided to act upon it. <laughs> and so the sign just Fuck randomly son. gets moved around. Which then it makes it look like it's us. Exactly. And then, you know, Gonzo accidentally walks by it and he's large and he accidentally hits it and with it falls poop? over. No, he hits it with his poop. <laughs> like, the amount of times, like, I'm looking for the picture because he shit right next to it. Like, his yeah, aim it's, is it's great. It's so funny because he'll go right next to it. Like, he has horrible aim in the house. Yeah. He shits on the fucking carpets. Or maybe that's his good aim, and he's saying, fuck you. No, that's I what think he's that's doing. What he's doing it on purpose. Oh, yeah. He's a dick. So that's just annoying to me because I know she's doing it to us, and, like, we're not to blame. We've been good. Yeah, like, we, so we now I want to be, be bad just because of the sign. Let's just take our own poops on the fucking <laughs> doorstep and be like, you think it's our dog? Here, here's our human shit. Yeah. Hmm? So if you find that sign, let me know through your through your photos. I'm not gonna defecate on her fucking doorstep. <laughs> I mean, maybe in a bag and then light her on fire. Um, and since we're talking about Gonzo, um, <laughs> another pet peeve is for anyone that has a dog. I don't know if your dog does the same thing. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they're all like, <laughs> when you are preparing their food, like I have his bowl out, I'm filling it with his food and then uh-huh. our fat dog has you medicine he has to take <laughs> yeah it's not the cute little mm, feed no. me feed like, me no me. it I'm is so like, cute. It's like <laughs> fuck you give me that fu- throw it in my face yeah he's literally standing a foot away from you mm-hmm. making these horrendous sounds where it makes me want to not give him his food <laughs> just yeah. to be like no you don't get anything now because yeah, you're being it, annoying it's like I like okay I understand ooh I found it okay let me see. Sorry, just found the oh, picture. We found the, the sign. awesome okay. sign. Sorry, I know, uh, if you've listened to this, you, you're used to squirrel mode. Squirrel. Sorry, but anyways, okay. So it says dog. Oh, by the way, let me just show you the picture. He's literally shitting. Oh, he's next shitting to right next to it. Yeah. That's awesome. Like, so I got we should a take a picture of this picture and uh-huh. put it next to the sign. But then it would be our dog, so we can't give it away. But I think. Wait, hold on. I think. I think. Yeah. But look what I did. I took a picture of me picking up the poop. No, yeah, it could be. So there we go. Two pictures. Okay, read the sign. Okay, sorry. So, <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> sign, dog waste it is a threat to the health of our children, degrades our town, transmit disease, or transmits disease. Leash and clean up after your dog. It's required by law. Okay, real quick. I completely agree about leashing and cleaning up after your dog. Um, do we need to put that it degrades our town? Uh, no. And is it only children that are affected by dog shit? Just children. It's yes. just children. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That explains a lot. You know what that sign reminds me of? For anyone that watches The Office, it would be a sign that Dwight would put up. Oh, yeah. That's a Dwight sign. Like how he tried to put up, like, install things in the women's stalls. Yeah, when he, like, yeah, when he bought the building. Charge him. <laughs> yeah. That's a Dwight sign. So, that, look, I get it. There's signs that are necessary to tell people what to do because yeah. people are dumb nowadays. But you don't need to write it in that way. Just say, please pick up after. I was going to say, please poop up after your dog. Uh, actually, that's funny. Um, my dad said, love you a ton. No podcast today? That's pretty cool. So he listens. Hey, Dad, how you doing? We are recording right, recording right now. (laughs) So, and then smiley face with the sunglasses. Cool guy. Um. (laughs) So yeah. So Gonzo. So definitely this the sign, and then his little, or not little, 
the loud, annoying <laughs> sounds. Um, and then my only two other, like, traffic, um, car kind of um, pet peeves. One is door dings because no matter where you park nowadays, mm-hmm. I swear people just don't care. Mm-hmm. And they'll just door ding you like crazy. No, and they fucking park right next to you, too. Yeah, like, it makes me want to get a really old car and mm-hmm. not care. Oh, just get a beater and just bam! Yeah. Fucking hit everyone. Be like, oh, sorry, you're a part of people. I feel so like every you. day I come out to my car and there's a new door ding. Yeah, it's, mm. it's ridiculous. So I'm like, okay. So everyone gets those. I know that. It's mm-hmm. irritating. Um, and then my last thing. So, okay, uh, it's people just not remembering or understanding actual traffic laws yeah. when it comes to an intersection. Yeah. So if you have, um, you're trying to turn left at a, at a light, a lighted intersection and you have a yield to oncoming traffic because you don't have a green arrow, you just have a green light. Mm-hmm. People going straight towards you and turning right have the right of way. But people yeah. nowadays just seem to think it's mm-hmm. the people going straight have the right of way. So every yeah. time you're trying to make a right hand turn on your green light. Yeah. You have those yield oncoming traffic people mm-hmm. cutting you off. Yeah. And it sucks when there's single lane and double lane because mm-hmm. I mean because people when they turn they still go into that second lane a little bit when they're they don't turning. follow so, those little dots yeah, the, no, the leading dots or whatever there yeah they mm-hmm. don't they don't follow those. no not at all and it's now if we were talking about this before the podcast we like, now if, if someone has a protected green arrow light not uh, just a yeah, green that's circle different. light yeah it's different then that means that left turn has the right away and the right turn doesn't yeah so, so you'll, you'll have that too yeah then yeah, the, like, the right hand turn too yeah. You know, when you're turning left and there's someone fucking turning right, I flash high beams, give a little honk, like, dude, you're... You need a train horn on your car. Oh and I, I told you my old neighbor oh. had one of those. But it would rattle the oh, fucking yeah. car. Oh, yeah. Well, he had it. a huge truck, yeah, you know, a really exactly. small dick. And not that I saw it or anything. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know. Sorry about your dick, bro. Oh, that's a pet peeve right there. Like, why do you got to have a huge truck and be a dick? Like, you already have a big truck. Like, you're already your they're compensation Because they're compensating. Is already... So, this isn't, you know, saying anything about James. You have uh, a truck, but you actually go out and do this shit This is a normal-sized truck. It isn't like yeah. this ridiculous truck. Well, hold on a minute. Let me push the button and get my step stool out. <laughs> it's like, I should get into my truck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you don't need the, the little <laughs> steps that fucking come down. Like, really? And they have to be, mecha- like... Like, automatic? Like, you can't push a button? And that used to be the joke about living specifically in this area, like, Marietta Temecula, was the joke. It was, like, Broville, and it was, like, bros and bros, big old trucks. But now they're everywhere. The the super bro get down, and then the bro-ho in, like, fucking SRH pink shit, just fucking getting out, or Fox, or whatever. It's, like, (laughs) really unnecessary. Like, what bottle did you get that bleach out of? Anyways, (laughs) so (laughs) did we cover... So we covered ours, okay. and I know throughout this, I'm going to have more. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to have squirrel moments throughout. Mm-hmm. But um, so let's hear. The way we're going to kind of do this is basically we're going to read through we with uh, Two, what, everyone, three, what everyone does. Four, five, six, seven. Seven of our friends seven have our responded. Friends. So thank you already. Um, we're going to uh, we're gonna basically read out what they said and then kind of touch on them, just kind of like we did with ours. Um so we have, uh, we're going to put Dan first, just because you guys kind of know Dan a little bit through the stories we've told. Um, so it'll be funny and you'll understand his humor a little. So um, we also are going to be hearing from Nick Wright, uh, Zach West, um, Matt Casket, uh, James Frasca, Chris Martis, and his girlfriend Mackenzie McBride. So this will be great. Uh, don't worry, I'll tag all here. you guys in this and uh, we'll be able to uh, check it out. So, uh, Dan Newmeyer, uh, you want to you wanna read the first yeah, one? Yeah, so Dan and I feel really bad because I've done this before. I'm so guilty of this. So yeah. apparently it bugs the crap out of, well, I'll just read it, what yeah. he said. It bugs the crap out of me when people put empty ice cube trays back in the freezer. Yeah, I've, I've, I've done that. I actually um, not ice cube trays but i left the empty hot pocket box or empty something in our freezer and then i went to go get one and i'm like oh there's that fairly (laughs) so let me just write that on sorry sorry and i don't know why because the trash can's right there like it's because the trash can's broken 
Oh, yeah, because Candace. Candace. Ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's why, so I can't throw things away because of Candace. Yeah, exactly. Um, so let's and see, what else? kitchen is still, you know, wet from where James just dropped. Dropped, yeah. Anyways. So, um, so what else with the Dan? So Dan said, uh, also dumb people in line at the store. I, I, he didn't really elaborate, uh, but I'm guessing maybe people that don't write their check out before, you know, they actually get up to the front. Didn't or, we have somebody like that at Costco like a yeah, couple weekends ago? Like, I, I didn't know people still wrote checks. No, and, I know. And well, apparently, she was, you know, like, she got out of her check. Oh, I think, though, I felt bad, though. She knew she needed to write, or she knew she felt bad because... Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, I forgot. Sorry, sorry, I lost sorry. my credit card or something. Uh, okay. So she so was kind of, little... she was like hurriedly writing yeah. it. Oh, that's hurriedly. Is that a word? Hurriedly. Her- she was quickly writing her check out. So Russian her, word? I feel bad for just because she was like in that panic yeah. mode. So. Yeah. so I'll feel bad for that too. But at the same time, for the most part, like if you know, you know like be prepared, bitch. <laughs> And then he put this. This is something that Dan would definitely say. Hey, wouldn't it be confusing if someone named their pet Peef? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is my pet Peef, but that's a dog. That, no, no, it's that's my pet awesome. Peef. No, that's great. That is really uh, good. Dan is is great for puns and dad jokes. And my favorite, just because I'm going to make fun of Dan again, the last thing that he wrote. Oh, and how about ads that are incorrectly targeted to you? That's a fun subject. So, Dan, I don't think I don't I don't think they're incorrectly targeting you. So you somehow were, you know, looking at dildos dildos or something. Is that what you're mad about? Because or sex swings or something on Amazon, and then they (laughs) caught you, and so now you're getting those ads. We you didn't really elaborate. I mean, obviously, we can kind of. You know, go from there. But if you are Let's just going to put what a else? blanket what, statement... You're, what you're, else would be funny for Dan to receive? Uh, Maybe some Oh, you know what? It, it would be funny if he got, uh, like, like weird sexual things towards him. Because me and him actually pulled a prank on a friend. I told you about this. Yes. Uh, for the ad? April, for April Fool's, we put up a Craigslist personal ad... Um, and put our buddy's number on it, and he got phone calls for <laughs> so sad. months. And every I'd be time, so mad at you guys. Oh yeah, we didn't tell him for months. It was just fucking amazing. When he's on the podcast, we could ask him about that. He can. I'm a dumbass. I forget everything, so he'll be able to enlighten us on the full story. <laughs> but um, yeah, what kind of things are you getting there, Dan? Um, yeah, I really want to know. I, I want to know exactly what you think is. And I'm doing the little air quotes incorrectly uh-huh. targeting you because yeah. i mean just because it's the wrong color dildo doesn't mean that it's incorrect i mean it's still a dildo so you, i mean you should be right they should be right on those lace on, panties <laughs> lace panties. no it's the uh the edible ones oh like he wanted the strawberry like the gummy ones yeah he like wanted the, no like the fruit roll-up ones the little necklace no the fruit roll-up oh, ones okay. he wanted strawberry and they targeted him with orange Mm, next time. Or he got, like, the little underwear with the, like, elephant, like, <laughs> little oh, elephant yeah, satchel. Oh, yeah, that was yeah, awesome. Where you put your dick in there. Yeah, Dan, you should have been more specific on that, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. And uh, everyone that we have on here, if we're giving you shit for it, is just because you're our friends and we love you. And then you can give us shit when you do your podcast. Yeah, so there, hey. get to it. Um... But uh, anyways, or just, you know, trash us on the internet and everything and then, you know. Or don't. No, I mean, it's okay, whatever. Um, we'll probably laugh at all of it. Um, and half, it'll, half of it will probably be true. Um, so Nick Wright uh, is going to be our next... Uh, Victim? I mean... Yeah, I mean, subject of uh, <laughs> debate. There we go. Yeah, I like Vic- that. Hashtag victim. Um People who don't park in a spot to go pick up their shit seeds from school. Direct quote. (laughs) Okay, everything that we're reading from people is what I I ask them through text messages, through Facebook Messenger. Like, I, and I just laid it out. It's way better leaving it in the direct quote. Oh, yeah. Because shit seeds is a uh, a phrase I'm going to use from, from now on. Yes, it's so good. Because we have to fucking deal with that shit in the morning. 
uh, in our condo complex. Not so much high school. It, it definitely has gotten a little bit better, but we had to we had to definitely fucking deal with that. So that was that was some bullshit. Um, next one is, uh, but that's great. Thank you so much, Nick, for that. That's amazing. Um, when the next one, number two, is when people park in a fire zone or in red curb and put their hazards on instead of finding a parking spot. Pretty much. Uh, outside the grocery store, maybe outside of like a restaurant pickings. I understand if it's like, you know, a decrepit, like 95 year old person and they can't really walk too well. I, I understand. They'll get taught a lesson really fast when the fire department shows up. And- <laughs> yes. I'm, there, there are certain situations where, uh, again, it's still illegal and it's something that, you know, you can get in trouble for, but I understand it a little bit more. Not when it's just some fucking lazy fat ass that doesn't want to fucking, you know, like, go fucking park. And walk. It's probably a good fucking idea. But they wanted their Panera bagel faster, okay? Uh-huh. Well, they can <laughs> shove it up their fucking asshole. <laughs> Jesus. And I don't know. Maybe suppository hey, is the best way to go. And actually, that works for the laziness for the third thing down. Exactly. So people who can't walk can't walk their cart back to the return too oh yeah no i it fucking bugs me nick me and you are completely on it like don't be lazy the worst thing is when somebody is parked like one or two spots away Uh from the little cart corral Uh oh i stare they can't walk i stare straight out 10 feet i don't care if i'm at work i'll stare at them and Really, bitch? Like, your life really? is really not that busy. Oh, yeah, exactly. What are you going to do? You got to get home to drink your fucking glass of wine and take, pop some fucking Xanax and then dr- high drive and go get your fucking <laughs> the kids? The Xanny's already kicking in. That's how they shop. Fuck you. Okay. In their so, large trucks. <laughs> his fourth one is, uh, or what he said is, most of mine have to do with parking slash vehicles. Ha ha. I swear I'm turning into my dad. I, uh, with getting older... I understand so much more right? about being a lot like more like your parents. Yeah. Like cuz they've they've seen it all. Yeah, exactly. You're like okay, now I know what's annoying. Yeah, and probably like a, around, you know, our age right now is like closer to when, you know, they were raising us and stuff. So we're probably realizing or it right now. Or it's like the exactly. glass shattering you're like, yeah. "Oh." <clears throat> so thank you Nick Wright. That was awesome. I appreciate your input on that. Um we're going to go to Zach West right now. Um <laughs> known this dude for a while he's fucking hilarious he uh is actually a musician and does his own stuff and um he does a uh, a band called the silver tongued uh and i believe he's still doing that he might be releasing new music sometime soon we actually might be doing some vocals and at, at here in the studio at skyview so um zach uh we're gonna <laughs> you put out a lot so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna read them through and then we'll discuss them because they're fucking hilarious so first one people who walk slow I get you. People who chew with their mouth open. Uh, People who drive slow. People who text and drive. People who smell like shit. People who talk (laughs) loud in quiet areas. Long lines. People in general. I hate everyone. (laughs) But my biggest pet peeve is small talk with strangers. I don't fucking care about the weather. I can see it outside. I don't care about your weekend. If we're not friends, you're dead to me. Go away. <laughs> I love you so much. You're such a ray of sunshine. <laughs> you're amazing because I feel you, bro, on all of those. Um, and then the last one he said was uh, add religion to that. Uh, I have no problem with what people believe in. It's just religion as an organization. I completely I agree with that. Yeah, I, I mean, too. I'm I was raised Christian. I have, you know, my belief system and, you know, the way that I believe. But in no way do do I like the Christianity as as a religion, as like the people in it. There, there's some people that hide behind Christianity that, that sit there and uh, and say, oh, I'm a Christian, so I'm a good person. No, you're still a piece of shit. You just yeah. have Christianity as like a fucking a crutch. Uh, I will admit I am, you know, definitely not the best person ever, but, you know, morally that that's kind of closer to what I am, but I'm not going to sit here and, you know, just because you're Christian, like you more, you know, like, yeah, we'll have something to talk about yourself. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, we might have something to talk about, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to realize that, you know, oh, you're such a great person. No, if you're still a dick, I'm going to fucking be like, stop being a fuckhead. (laughs) Anyways... Um. So with the yeah. with the small talk, <laughs> okay. So it's funny because me being in HR, mm-hmm. 
you would think I should be like the talkative, social, I like people. Not so much the case. Toby? I'm not a Toby. I'm not a Toby. I'm not the awkward HR person. I'm the let me be really nice to your face and then I'm going to talk all about you when you leave my office. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can't in whether it's work or I'm what. I'm guessing that's most HR though because in order well, to do that job, you have to have like. Yeah. So actually, yeah. I never thought I was good at acting, but I know I am now. Mm-hmm. Um, well, maybe no. this will lead to something. <laughs> maybe. Uh, no, it's the, it is a small talk. Like, mm-hmm. I am not one for that, and it's actually cringing, mm-hmm. cringeworthy for me yeah. to have to participate in small talk. Yeah. I can't stand it. Mm-mm. And that's why, like, I joke with you all the time that uh, I don't like hanging out with a lot of females mm-hmm. because I don't like the small talk that normally is involved oh when all the girls hang out together. Like, I can't stand that. Like, yeah. that really is nails on a chalkboard for me. But that's why, like, my female friend circle is small mm-hmm. because those that I've allowed in, mm-hmm. I actually like to listen to what they have to say. Candace yeah, like, it matters. And Tracy. Yes. Candace and Tracy and Sadie and Ronnie. Yes. And, like, you know, so little- it's... Um, yeah, I, I get it, though, because it's, like, that's the first thing I think everyone goes to for the weather thing, because yeah. they don't know what else to say. Yeah, exactly. And I think every, a lot of people are socially awkward. Yeah. So or how they, about that the insert football team Yeah, here. whatever whatever is the easiest, uh, socially most socially acceptable yeah. thing to talk yeah. about. Because, I mean, there's plenty of things that you could actually <laughs> talk about, but then they wouldn't be small talk. It would be actually like... So, what do you think about that uh, Jesse Smollett thing where the dude decided yeah. to, uh, you know, fake his attack thing? I mean, like, you could you could sit there and you could talk to someone about it, but you don't know how they feel. It's yeah. just like small talk with a random person. Exactly. Which I think is bullshit. Anyways. <laughs> um, so, there were a couple things. So, the people who walk slow, totally agree with you. Um, driving slow and texting and driving, we... We uh, went over that in the beginning. Um, people smell like shit. Yeah, well, that one like made me fucking too laugh. Too much perfume. Yeah. Like if somebody's like just doused themselves yeah. with cologne or perfume. Yeah. Mm mm. And, and there's a, there's a there's a, a, a part two to that one. Like if you smell like shit and then don't Try shower and just up. cover it up with fucking axe or some. You so know, you're whatever. like bo axe. Yeah, exactly. Not saying that I haven't done that before going <laughs> into work because sometimes I do. You know. I sweat. I'm a dude. Man smell. Yeah. But um, I also was a, you know, and, you know, Zach being a musician too, I'm sure, you know, being a dirty musician, but, you know, we were able to hide it a little bit more, I think. So uh, people who talk loud in quiet areas, if I'm in the grocery store working, you don't need to be on your fucking cell phone talking to some bitch that probably really okay. doesn't even care you're talking. And that mm-hmm. right there mm-hmm. is when you're talking to people on your stupid little headset mm-hmm. and I see it in your ear and mm-hmm. you're just shopping around hands yeah. free. I don't know why that drives me crazy, but that does. Oh, it's fucking annoying. It, 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 there was a comedian that was talking about, I forgot who it was, but he was talking about you can't understand, you don't know who is crazy anymore because mm-hmm. you used to be able to tell who was crazy before the Bluetooth thinks they'd be talking to themselves. Now it looks like everyone's talking to themselves because they have the little fucking thing. Well, at least you can see like the little light beeping or something. But if they only have one and you see them from this side. (laughs) Yeah. And then they look at you like, fuck you. And I'm like, what? Okay. So we're going to go on to uh, Matt Casket, um, who I was actually in a band with uh, for a good number of years in... uh, 2004 to 2008, maybe about yeah, uh, maybe 2000 yeah about 2004 2005. Uh, a band called Of Hearts and Shadows in the San Diego area loved being in that band. Matt is probably one of the best drummers I've ever played with. He's amazing. He has a he had a band um, named Casket, um, and they ended up breaking up. They had a good couple albums. Amazing, more punk rock. He uh, plays drums and sings for that band, which is, um, or he did, and now he has a band called Matt Casket and the Breaks. Um, they are, they just released an EP, and I think they're in the middle of doing pre-pro for an album, and we're going to have him on the podcast. I actually talked to him today, and we're going to have him on the podcast sometime nice. soon. Nice. So, and what, I want, what I'd like to do is have some sort of music thing on the podcast next couple episodes, showcase some music from friends or, you know, whatnot. And he said he would allow us to use some Matt Casket in the break. So Sweet. 
Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Matt. Now to your pet peeve, which is amazing. <laughs> uh, word for word, pet peeve. When my dog flexes his ass in my face to let me know he needs to take a shit. Just scratch the door or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. But, okay, I will tell you, um, scratching the door probably would wear out that door. And what you got is way better than Gonzo and his whining and his, uh, his bad. I, I think I'd be okay with him. Yeah. Rant. Unless he pooped. If he pooped, I, that's what yeah, I'd be scared that's the of. issue we have with our dog right now is because... He will just, I think he's angrily pooping. Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know if it's mm-hmm. like he can't control it. Yeah. Or if he's just like mad at us. Because we, mm. took, we took away the rug that was next to him because he kept pooping on us. I'm like, fine, I'm taking away the rug. <laughs> so you just have a nice big empty tile area to hang out in. Well, he has a nice comfy bed too. So he has his bed. So yeah. He's fine. But every night. Every night. Just little poops. Little poops. I mean, big poops, but like little Our sections of damn poops. damn camera won't ever catch I it know. either. Hey, Vivint, if you're listening, get your fucking <laughs> shit together, bro. So it can catch the shit from our dog. Yeah, exactly. Getting a little tired of it. It's not like I have to talk you up and be all nice about it. <laughs> Don't work for you. Anyways, didn't we just do a podcast about how awesome uh, this... Anyways, so yeah, Matt, that's fucking hilarious. That is definitely... Uh, what kind uh, of dog? Um, what kind of dog? Uh, his name's Pee Wee, and he's a Boston Terrier. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Pee Wee's amazing. Pee Wee's okay. awesome. You have to bring Pee Wee. Yes, you come bring Pee Wee, and actually, I think that'll be the first time him and Gonzo meet. So we have to figure out if that would even be mm. okay. Because not that you know Gonzo's just big and he's mean. kind of a dick. He's not that. Mean. He's protective. He's protective. He just loves you and attacks people. <laughs> um. So, James. on to James. Frasca. Oh, my gosh. It's another thing that I'm guilty of doing. Sorry. What? The toothpaste. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. Okay, James. Yeah, not squeezing the toothpaste tube from the bottom up. Squeezing in the middle annoys the fuck out of me. <laughs> you so should come see guilty on of that. fucking drawer. Okay, so. <laughs> not only do we not <laughs> squeeze from the bottom, we don't throw them bitches away. There's like five, like, empty, pushed all the way to the fucking core. Empty toothpaste tubes. So, James, don't ever try and Airbnb our fucking house because you will <laughs> fucking go crazy. Padded room. Yes. <laughs> of our, so, our hippie, uh, our hippie toothpaste, our, uh. What is it, Tom's? Tom's. Is it Tom's? Tom's of Maine. Tom's of Maine. Fluoride sensitive teeth? I think no fluoride. No fluoride. That's right. What? Did I, um, I'm still learning. Don't give, give me a little leeway. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, Chris Martis, who was my old drummer from, uh, uh, old drummer? What the fuck? My old oh. singer uh, from Hero and Me, and he actually was in Fire from the Gods for a little while. Um, and, uh, and now he is living out in Louisiana uh, with Mackenzie, who are both amazing people. Um, no, too bad they don't live closer. I know, right? But Mackenzie, you kind of are one of the culprits for Jen yakking it up on the wedding night. We have mm-hmm. the wedding video footage. It's raw. We see you spinning. We see you spinning. Or yeah, I spun. So and then I spun later. I mean, it, it's it's hilarious now. What I'm saying. We see you. <laughs> uh, no, it was hilarious. We love you. Um, so his first one is eating loud while on the phone. What? Oh, sorry. Did we start? Mm. Go oh, ahead. Yeah, yeah. Mm, sorry. <laughs> Just yeah, give another one. Here, here. This popcorn is so tasty. Wait, I can barely hear you. What did you say? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Hmm? Oh, we're on Chris. Oh, how funny. He said, eating loud while on the phone. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's funny. Is this okay? Because I'm mm-hmm. guessing you're hearing loud? this through your phone. So by proxy, it works. Is there everyone else who hates <laughs> that? Sorry. Don't give a fuck. Sorry. Um, okay. Now, allowing their kid to be a hellraiser and not punish them or tell them to shut the fuck up. Yes. So much fucking yes. The amount of times I see someone and I just want to be like, I'm going to smack your fucking kid upside the head. Like... Your kid is a shit. 
Why would you bring a kid into it's a store crying? It's because parents oh. can't spank their kids in public for fear of people calling the police on them. Oh, my God. Smack them. This Smack is where them. I'm going to call the police on wrong. the people calling the police. And be like, there's, for one, they're fucking... Uh, they're fucking. You put your stuff down and you leave the store. Yeah, exactly. It's hard. So you can get shit delivered to your house now, right? That's for you. Uber that to the your house. The <laughs> delivery of groceries and things that you get at a grocery store, that's for you. If you have kids that scream in the middle of a fucking thing and you don't do anything, deliver them groceries. What the fuck are you doing over there? Are you fucking blowing the Gatorade bottle? Jesus. Okay. That brings up, to pick up, that that. Brings up something amazing. Okay, squirrel Sorry, moment. Sorry, I had to wash my popcorn down with some Gatorade. <laughs> we were dating, what, maybe three months, four months? It was like not even that long. I was trying not to spill it in the car, okay? <laughs> we're driving in the car, driving down the road. And I look over because I don't hear anything. And, like, for some reason I'm weird. And, like, I think that if there's no talking going on, like, if it's, like, an awkward silence, and I'm like, what's going on? What's she doing? So, like, I looked over to be like, is everything cool? And she's fucking full lips. <laughs> full lips around the bottle. Not like, you know, how, like, a regular, you know, like, average human <laughs> drinks out of a fucking bottle. Like, how? the mm, like a Gatorade, a Gatorade bottle size. The big old mouth, mouth thing. Um, <laughs> you, you, okay, so the way a regular human drinks out of a bottle is you put your top lip underneath this part. You put your bottom lip underneath, like, the inside of the circle and your bottom lip on the outside of the circle and you drink. You wrapped your lips around it like you were fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay, we were only dating for a couple of months, we, me being a guy. <laughs> <laughs> we were driving, you were just driving fast, okay? And so I'm like, so driving. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, if I try to drink this, it's going to spill all over me. So I don't want it spilling, so I'm going to do this. But and you, you had to look over. But you realize putting your mouth all the way around it, if I sped up, it would just go to the back of your throat. Better than it landing on my shirt. So you'd rather fucking choke and almost like die. like. At least I wouldn't get red Gatorade on my shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But anyway, okay. So Chris, Martis, um, as <laughs> <has> another one. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Chris. Um, his other one is. Uh, one of his other ones says, my number one. Um, people on a high horse thinking they are better than you because you look like a sketchy dude. Or word it however you want. You know what I'm talking about. Well, no, you, you didn't say it right. It's sketchy, sketchy dude. dude. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say it right. <laughs> I just want to release because people, what is a dude? I don't know. I had to say it right. Hey. What was that old show? Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Yeah. Was it? Did, how did they say it? I think it was just hey, dude. Oh, it's gonna bug me now. I could have sworn like the intro was like a like a long dude or something. Maybe. I, gotta, I gotta look it up. Okay, but uh, sidebar, uh, sketchy dude is uh, if anyone has listened, to I told you about OSD or the sketchy dudes. Uh, he, you know, was one of them towards the end, and it was a uh, it was the, the sketchy dude thing, which actually I think that symbol now people are saying is like a KKK symbol, so we can't do that anymore. We can't do the OSD I'm going to throw it up now even more just because people are like, oh, this means this. Yeah. <laughs> really? Because gonna... <laughs> this no, used yeah. to just be okay. Yeah, it'd be okay. And then it's the game. Like, it's the, like, under the belt. Like, I'm going to punch. If you do that and someone catches you, you punch them in the arm, which is hilarious. Done that a million times. But now, evidently, it's some, it, everyone's outraged. Oh my but it's like, are you gosh. fucking kidding me? Anyways. Everyone's <laughs> triggered. Yeah, everyone's fucking triggered by everything. Go fuck yourself. That's one of my pet peeves. Don't fucking be offended by everything. Like, you're professionally offended. Like, yeah, I'm what the fuck? Really, really. Okay, yeah. If we're doing pet peeves today, it's definitely everyone being triggered about everything. Yeah. Please go hide. Go hibernate for like three, four decades. No, go somewhere where we all know where you are and then someone blow it up. That I mean, that that's okay with me. I'm not, you know... <laughs> Not condoning that behavior, but if it happens, well, you do kind of look like an Osama. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so we're gonna 
get blown up. Um, anyways. Uh, With reviews. <laughs> Okay, we're good. Eddie. <laughs> well, this is why we work well together. <laughs> yes, because we're both, we got crazy Dorks. brains. We got crazy brains, we're both nerds. Just wait till Nerdy that. squirrels. <gasps> Hashtag oh, nerdy right, squirrels. I like that. I like it. That'll be our uh, our side project wait, podcast. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, you need to reread Chris's number three. Yes. Okay. And then continue. I fucked it up. Down. I did. I fucked you it up. You did. Okay. I mean, it's, it's a whole thing. Okay. Chris, we're sorry. We're going to redo this. Well, actually, I'm not apologizing. Ian should yeah. apologize. Well, he messed you know, that up. You're okay. my wife. We're one person. You apologize for me. We when apologize. I do dumb, when I do dumb shit. Get used to it. <laughs> you, okay. You, you needed to read the rest of it because that was the best yes. part. I separated it in the thing, which is stupid. Okay. So, uh,. Chris, word for word. My number one, people on a high, on a high horse thinking they are better than you because you look like a sketchy dude. <laughs> Got it. Uh, or worded however you want. You know what I'm talking about. Like, lady, I know I look retarded and unsuccessful, but seriously, I don't know you shit or an explanation. So fuck you. <laughs> Thank you so much for Perfect. that, Chris. Sorry, I fucked it up the first time, but oh, there we no. go. I hope uh, I hope that was gold, which all of these were gold. And anyone that was texting me, you know, I said, that's fucking gold. It's great. Um, and then we're going to go to Mackenzie, who is uh, Chris's girlfriend. Um, should be wife soon. Just saying, fuckers. <laughs> You're next, right? We're flying out to Louisiana. Yeah, what sorry. Happens? We didn't Same. throw the bouquet. No, we didn't, but... Y'all should have cut it. Um, anyways, uh, so get on your shit, Chris. Uh, so <laughs> no pressure or anything. Yeah, no, no pressure. Um, but uh, I think there's something that you might want to work on before uh, popping the question, which I think is, is outlined here. Oh yeah, um, definitely. Because you should read that one because yeah. you know it's more of a. But Chris added this part in. Yeah, he okay. added that part in, but it's from Mackenzie. So Mackenzie wrote this. Or typed it, whatever you want to say, and then Chris added in something. So from Mackenzie, repeating yourself, having to tell the person the same thing over and over, you know, like her boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm guilty of that too. I think it's a man thing. I, I think it is. I think it's like, like we all have squirrel moments, and we like you know start. Yeah, doing I'm, I'm forgetful with yeah, things exactly. too, but yeah. I know there's That's why it's kind of like the joke, how women are always saying, like, oh, mm-hmm. ha, ha, my husband, I had to tell him, like, 56 times, or mm-hmm. write it down. Yeah. I hear it from everybody. Yeah. I think it's literally... It's just a guy thing. It is. Yeah. I think you guys just... It's not that you don't care. It's mm-hmm. just you have other things on your brain, like playing the latest uh, video game. Madden. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on. Long shot. What's up? Yeah, so, I get it. I think my I think my Xbox name is Sketchy Jesus. It's either Sketchy Jesus or Ian the Hesher. Sketchy Jesus. But whatever it is, you should add me on there. We can play some Madden. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, and one last thing from Mackenzie. She wrote Lazy Coworkers, and I definitely second that. And I'm sure everyone oh, can second just that. Just do your fucking job. Like, if you hate your job so much to where you don't want to do your job, get just... Get a new job. Yeah, go. Like, it's 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 just ridiculous. Like, like... Everyone there is trying to do the same. I mean, obviously different jobs, obviously different apartments, you know, whatever. But everyone's trying to do a job and make it make it better for everyone. I mean, do, wouldn't it make more sense if you could like, uh, if you could get your job done and rely on your coworkers, and then it makes it easier, and then you can maybe go home early, maybe get ahead of things and not be behind. Yep. But if you don't do your fucking job. You dropped the f bomb a lot on this episode. All these pet peeves. What fuck are you talking about? Oh yeah, no, it, uh, definitely. Oh, um, I'm I'm surprised. I've had an actually pretty good day, which was a little hard to come up with pet peeves. And you know what? I was thinking about it. I wrote this down in the middle of all this. Um, I had a pet peeve, but it's recently gone away mm-hmm. because of my phone. So I told you about it. So I have a Google Pixel phone. Mm. And apparently they started doing this new thing where um, you can do, you can screen your phone calls. Mm -hmm. So it'll send a little message to the person calling 
saying, uh, you know, the person you're trying to uh, contact has a screening service through Google. Uh, please say your name and what you're calling about. Mm-hmm. And it's texting it out on the phone. And it shows like a little, like the words get darker as, yeah. as basically they're It's like being, a stenographer in a court yes, case. Yes. It's like the same thing. So I, it's, it's literally <laughs> cut down on all the horrible, um, what do you call them? Like all the robo callers and yeah, all that because bullshit. they instantly hang up mm-hmm. when that comes on. But today I got the creepiest one and I need to find out if I can see, um, their response. Mm-hmm. I know it's somewhere on my phone. I I flagged it to Verizon mm-hmm. because it literally was like 10 one-liners of anything they could say to make you want to continue talking to them. Mm-hmm. And it's as if like it was computer generated, so they didn't really know how to respond because they were talking to another computer. And it was like, hey, Hey, this is your dad. I'm in the hospital. And then the next one down was, hey, uh, uh, Kevin, it's your brother. It was like weird. It was like, it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a fraud. Uh, like, whoa. It wasn't like, hey, do you want solar panels? It wasn't like that. It was literally. That's creepy. Yeah. And so I quickly saw it going through because it was as that person or that computer or whatever was speaking to my phone, Mm -hmm. it was texting it to me. And I think I have, because it records it all. Yeah. So you have some transcription. So I have a transcript because it lets people know when they call me that he's a transcript. So Google, Google, Google pixel, this whole Google thing is amazing. Like that's genius that they're doing this because I have cut down on so many of those stupid Uh, phone calls all day, all fucking day. Um, so I need to find that out because it tripped me out. Like I mean, I that. feel really popular because I'm getting phone calls all day. <laughs> but then well, I realize, you know, not- you got to sign up again. I think it's every right. year you have to sign up for that. Do not call list. I think it's every year. Don't call me or bug me ever. You fucking piece of I shit. I just want an air horn. But then again, I feel bad because those people are they're doing their job. If they are calling about like like solar or sign up for this or whatever, yeah, don't be lazy. <laughs> Talk about it. Don't don't put a recording. Fuck yeah, you. but I mean, if it's a real person, oh, not the robo caller, then yeah. I feel bad because they're just doing their job. Yeah, but I still hang up on them. But they're mainly all robo callers. But yeah, I'm <laughs> I not, still say don't ever call me again. <laughs> it's not a pet peeve anymore because my phone's taking care of it. But the cool thing is, when I do get the robo callers, I instantly deny the phone call and say spam, and then Verizon c- contacts me mm-hmm. and says we are going to reach out to them, and if you're on the do not call list, they're getting in trouble. So I'm like. Haha, suckers. I'm going to get on the do not call us. I'm going to get some motherfuckers in trouble. I do it as often as possible. I am that person. I'm, I've turned into my mother. Oh, yeah. Just like all these <laughs> things right here, these are things that I completely could see. Oh, yeah. It's great. This is this was a fun. This was definitely a fun one. Just because. Uh, I actually felt good. Like, I got, like, the stress yeah. out. It's like, it's like getting that <laughs> shit off your shoulder. And, and it's like, like I've said to you a bunch of times, when, you know, we go through stuff and. You know, uh, talking about it can do a bunch of things. It can, for one, get it out of just your own head. And when you say it and you say it to someone else, you realize how verified you could be in it. If it sounds or or how ridiculous ridiculous it sounds, you know, and then you're like, oh, okay, I need to back off. Maybe I'm fucking crazy. Like I need to like chill out or figure out something else. But talking about all this stuff is great and what's really really cool about this and like one of my favorite parts about it is yes even though it's you know our friends and whatnot it's still people like that have listened to the podcast and 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 like it and uh are willing to you know have their input on it and it's cool and it's being able to see how similar people are but how different you know like it's just cool because not a lot of people talk to each other anymore Mm-mm. You know what I mean? No, no, people just like we talk a lot to each other. Yeah. But I mean, I, I feel like we can have more of a somewhat focused conversation. Yeah, on and here. it's just it, so many people are are socially awkward, and there, it's way easier to sit behind a keyboard and type something out than actually say something to someone. You know, it's just it gets to be you know crowded with all this bullshit, and it's just I like being able to sit here and talk about stuff. It's uh, it's uh, very 
cathartic, I guess, mm-hmm. like yeah. able to speak. Is am I using the right word? Mm-hmm. Okay, I just hear it and I'm like, oh. <laughs> the word of the day is cathartic. cathartic. Uh, now please use it in a sentence. <laughs> Spell it. <laughs> This podcast is very cathartic. Boom. Okay. Um, Two of the three tests. Wait, cathartic. Let me see. C-A-T-H-A-R-T-I-C? That's what I would think it is. Cathartic? I don't know. Anyways, um, if we're wrong, tell us. Uh, It doesn't really matter. I don't really care. We're not doing a spelling bee. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Um, I actually did a spelling bee when I was in school, and I lost the last word. Oh. I think it, I... it was horrible. It was like his name was Brian something. He was a little fucking shit. And he was like the head, like, uh, what's the. Fart. What's the. Uh, I would have gotten that. P H R T. Wow. Uh, okay, what's. Um, student. Is it student council? Like mm-hmm. the president of the student, you know, all the, those yeah. fuckers? Yeah. Yeah, it was that guy. He was the president of the fucking uh... student council. It was a, he was a little twat. Uh, so this was high school? Okay, to explain a little bit more about him, no, it was middle school. He, um, for the for the talent show one year, I was in it both years and I, you know, won awards because, you know, I'm amazing. Ballet. Um, I played guitar, okay? <laughs> I played guitar. In um, a tutu. <laughs> uh, but, no, this kid, Brian, sang smooth. Carlos Santana, smooth. Wow. Yeah, that's what he did. He was he's that guy, and it was horrible. Mm. Um, but it was a spelling bee, and the and we went through all the words. We got all the words right, and they took a word that wasn't on the list. It was ricotta, the cheese. Yeah, is that R I C O T T A? Yep. I didn't get it. I put one T in there, and I raised hell because I was like, are you serious? You're going to give us a word that's not on the list? And he, like, he gets it, and it's fine? No, that's horrible. So my dad wasn't too pleased about that either, so. Um, but, yeah, that was uh, Gene Farb Middle School. So, yes, fart. Yeah, it's like fart. Yeah. yeah. Fuck I did you. a spelling bee, but I think it was in, like, second or third grade, mm-hmm. and I believe I got second and a third place mm-hmm. you know back in the day when they actually only gave um little plaques and stuff to winners mm-hmm. and not because a green participation a participation, <laughs> participation trophy yeah no you didn't win <clears throat> second place is a first place winner yeah. sorry bro i have to ask my mom if she still has it because it was a cute little black um pla- a black plaque that's cool and black it had a cool little b on it little bumblebee <laughs> or little something spelling bee. a b it was pretty cool. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So I think, you know, around that time was when I generally started, you know, not liking uh, a lot of people. That was uh, that was the year that I got hospitalized um, because I got thrown down by a black kid. He, uh, as I was running past him during the uh, the fun run, the mile, basically oh, the on Friday. Fun run. They tried to always cover it up by calling it the fun mm-hmm. run. The Friday fun run. <sighs> Uh, it was, uh, I was running past, uh, him, not in any, you know, derogatory fashion, disrespectful fashion. I was just running around him cause it was, it was a smaller little it area. It was a fun run. Mm-hmm. And so I was running around him and it was, uh, John Rhodes was his name. I'll always remember his name. And it was him and his friend. And as I, uh, they were both eighth graders and both, you know, bigger guys. And as I ran past, past him, he said, ain't no white boy running past me. I had never had any like altercation with him, interaction with him. We didn't have words with each other. It wasn't anything about that. Like, I'm sorry, but that was some racist shit. Like, I never did anything to him. It was bullshit. And he threw me into his uh, into his friend. I hit his stomach, and I could feel a pop in my neck. Ooh. And so I immediately went down. Like, I've been in sports, so I know like if you like if you feel a neck something, don't, move. don't fucking move. Yeah. Like. Make sure you cradle that shit until you know you're okay. Yeah. And so I just hit the ground. One of my friends, Katrina, she ran up thinking I fucking died. Because I, like, literally was just limp there just trying to, like, chill. And I didn't want to provoke anything going on with him. You know, I didn't want to deal with it. So, um, actually, um, they... So I went to the the office. And uh, it was a black principal, too. Mildred Phillips was her name. 
Um, I remember this because uh, we sued the parents because and she and Mildred Phillips was a part of the court case or was a part of the whole situation because they wouldn't expel him. They didn't wow. expel him. They suspended him for six weeks, I believe, and didn't expel Dang. him because they they didn't want to get in the way of his studies. What the fuck happened with me when I was in children's hospital and having to recoup? You know what I mean? Damn. Like, yeah. So we took we took a took him to court. My dad won sixteen hundred bucks for all the legal fees and all the uh, hospital bills and all the everything. And uh, Judge Judy actually contacted me and my dad asking us to be. On Were the you program. on Judge Judy? I was not on Judge Judy. The reason why is because they denied they they didn't want to be on it yet because they knew where they're wrong they were wrong and they were going to see their fucking kid be ridiculed on TV because he was a fucking racist piece of shit. I would have been like, okay, whoever else wants to hear yeah. us talk about this. It, it's it's just funny. Like I didn't do anything to that dude at all. But if I if it was me and one of my white friends and we you know grabbed him by the by the neck and yeah. said, ain't no running past me holy shit i would be in jail i would never have a life i'd probably never be able to have a fucking job like that is it was bullshit i was pissed off about it oh, so anyways that's crazy talk about a fucking pet peeve the double standard with all that shit yeah we're gonna leave it at that and y'all can discuss it between yourselves <laughs> um so um thank you again for the first episode, having the input from other people. Thank you, thank you. Definitely. So, thank you again to Dan Newmeyer, uh, who you'll actually going to see, who you're going to hear pretty soon on the podcast. We're going to get that figured out. Um, Nick Wright and James Frasca, they're going to actually come on the podcast also and do a little double duty. I don't know. Double uh, duty. Double duty. <laughs> Hey guys, get ready for double duty. Yeah, double shake weight, that shit, I don't know. <laughs> well, that was, that was all going on this weekend. <laughs> yes. Don't take that out of context. There was just no. a lot of... Uh, Weird shake weight maneuvering. Yeah. There, it was just, it oh, was just oh, don't end this podcast yet because I have to bring up skeet. Skeet, oh. skeet, skeet. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what it was. That, James, that. I'm sorry. Yes, you remind me of Skeet, Skeet, Skeet. <laughs> wow. Poo and Skeet, Skeet, Skeet. You Poor are just, James. Poor you're James. Great. You can come defend yourself soon. No, it was just simply because I didn't know what Skeet, Skeet, Skeet meant Cheers. in Cheers. the songs, like mm-hmm. the hip hop. Yeah, it's uh, a Ying Yang Twins, Lil John. Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh. Lil John. I don't know. I thought it was just some rap thing. So what are the words? It's uh, from I'm the window I'm showing, to the wall. I'm showing my whiteness. It's just one of those rap things. <laughs> from the window to the wall, sweat drip down my balls. Ah, uh, skeet, 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 motherfucker. Ah, uh, skeet, skeet, something, something. something. I, don't, I don't know. But he sang jits. Like, it, he put it in a song, and it sold millions of records. Like, yeah, I didn't know that's what it meant. And so we were making, <laughs> so we were laughing. We were out uh, at the bar this weekend because we were saying maybe the song came on or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. And we were showing how like white girls dance, mm-hmm. which is like Skeet, put your Skeet, hands Skeet. in like the shake, air. It's basically the shake weight move. Yeah. And uh, if you don't know what the shake weight move is. Climb out of the fucking rock you're living under. And how are you listening to this podcast? Or if you, don't know what- you can Google shake weight and then get mm-hmm. ads Google shake incorrectly targeted towards you <laughs> like Dan has. Wow, I love I like the full circle there, babe. There so I'm we sorry, go. you may continue with the thank yous. I just had to bring the skeet, skeet, skeet up because oh, that was too perfect. invaluable Scroll about moment. this weekend. We're good. Can't go to a podcast without scroll moments. Yes. So, Dan Newmeyer, you can uh, come and defend yourself on the ads thing soon. Um, Nick and James, you guys can come defend yourselves on these. And you, James, with your toothpaste tube, uh, you can come actually check out the the our drawer. Our drawer. I want to I want to see your, the agony in your face. Um, you guys are going to be on at some point soon. Uh, and we also have uh, who we got Zach West. Thank you for your amazingness, and I hope I, I hope you don't uh, you don't start like loving people because hating people is is way better for the comedic <laughs> aspect of our podcast. So thank you. Keep that up. Love you there, Zach. Uh, and then we got Chris and Mackenzie. Thank you so much, not only for your input on this, but thanks for coming to the wedding too. Only we have. Really had too much of a chance to. Uh, I know we have to come visit you guys. Now. Yeah, we're gonna come out there and maybe we'll take a trip down to uh, uh, New Orleans too. Yes. Maybe we'll check out uh, that dirty fucking city. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, and then uh, Matt Casket, dude, uh, super stoked uh, for the input, and also we and super stoked for your new shit, the new Matt Casket and the breaks. It, I know it's not really your uh, cup of tea with you know, punk rock's not as much yours, but I love it to death. It uh, and you know also it's one of my good buddies. So yes, um, but. I'm stoked. Can't wait to hear that new album. Uh, I hear it's going to be a full length, which is great. Um, and you're going to be actually be coming on the podcast soon, too, uh, to talk about the new album and talk about new stuff. Maybe we'll be able to play some tunes. But um, thank you very much to all you guys. Uh, and if anyone else has some other pet peeves, anything like that, send them in to us. Maybe we'll have a little, you know, segment uh, every once in a while and, and, and talk about it. But um, also, so before we leave, we're just going to have the Chelsea Smile Clothing Company shout out. Um, make sure you go to ChelseaSmile.co. That's www.chelseasmile.co. Uh, go there. Check out their sweet threads, bro. <laughs> and uh, once you figure out all the awesomeness that you're gonna that you're gonna buy uh they do i i do believe they do some custom stuff too so there's even you know if bands out there need some you know merch done this or that they gotta um they have a printing press and all that stuff too so um hit them up um any i don't believe the promo code would work on batch orders like that i don't know for sure but i do know on their actual chelsea smile clothes um promo code tdp for till death podcast um, go use that and uh, you'll get 20% off on your order. Sweet. So that is going to be it for us. Um, I, th- I don't know what we're doing next week. But it's a ho- surprise. It's a surprise, I think, even to us. Uh, but it hopefully will be done and out there on Monday. <laughs> um, sorry that we made you wait, Dad. Um, but uh, I hope the wait was worth it. Always. What what's the, the the one quote that we're gonna go with? Shit seeds. There we go. Shit seeds. The one day was worth shit seeds. That one thank you, Nick Wright. That's the phrase amazing. of the day. The phrase of the day, shit seeds. Use it. Well, all those <laughs> all those little kids in the store, Chris, that you hate. Was it was it Chris in the store that hates the little fucking kids that don't get Yeah, yes. there we go. Chris. Chris Martis. All those little kids that you hate walk up to them and either say to them or to their parents shit seeds do it and then just walk away and then just walk away or use it in a sentence that's worse either way be fucking amazing um thank you very much guys is there anything else that you have been oh, i think i'm good for sure no we got a couple things to do before bed yes and uh then we both got work tomorrow wah, wah. Mm-hmm. gotta pay those bills wah, wah. Cool. All right. Last thing. Make sure you subscribe. Tell all your friends, all the. All the You're going to subscribe to your friends? No, the, tell your friends <laughs> to subscribe to our podcast, you butthead. Oh, wait, you're Beavis, right? Mm-hmm. You're Beavis, I'm butthead. Yes. Okay. <sighs> Cornholio. Okay. Love y'all. Thank you very much for listening, and we'll catch you next week. Bye. Love you, babe. Love you. For any other info or a way to contact us, go to facebook.com slash T-I-L-D-E-A-T-H-P-D-C-S-T. That's facebook.com slash Till Death Podcast, podcast without the vowels. Thank you very much for listening. We'll catch you next time.